Today, we take a journey through the remarkable evolution of our Lumix G series cameras. Cameras that have set benchmarks in the photo industry. Let's take a look at how innovation has been at the heart of every new model. In 2008, we introduced the world's first mirrorless live view camera, the G1. It was a groundbreaking start to what became a series of firsts for the industry. And just a year later, the GH1 arrived, bringing with it the world's first video capabilities in a mirrorless camera. Now, fast forward to 2014, the GH4 was not only the first mirrorless camera to offer 4K video, but also added 4K 10-bit HDMI output, a major leap for videographers. And in 2015, a firmware update for the GH4 introduced a 4x3 video mode, optimizing it for anamorphic lenses. In 2017 was another milestone year with the introduction of the GH5. It became the first mirrorless camera to support 4K 60p and internal 10-bit 422 color, along with features like open gate video and anamorphic stabilization. Our latest, the GH6, launched in 2022, and it brought 5.7K 60p and 4K 120p capabilities, continuing our evolution of innovation in this industry. And now it brings me great excitement to introduce the next leap forward, the GH7. Lumix loyalists and GH admirers have expressed your needs, and we've listened. The Lumix GH7 will provide three core benefits for creative work. Enhanced production quality, improved workflow, and reliability that meets professional standards. So let's start by discussing how the GH7 improves your production quality. Well, it all starts with a new 25.2 megapixel sensor that not only delivers stunning image quality, but also supports improved dynamic range, pushing the limits of low light performance. The dynamic range boost now supports ISO 100 for most of the picture profiles and ISO 500 in V-Log. The GH7 continues to offer excellent dynamic range at higher ISOs as well matching the GH6's performance at its native ISO values of 800 and 2000. Now the GH7 will be the first Lumix camera to include internal raw video recording, fully taking advantage of the sensor's capabilities without any loss in image quality. The GH7 can shoot up to 5.7K 30p in ProRes RAW, and those frame rates and robust codecs are now supported by new media options like CF Express cards and SSD drives. The Lumix GH7 not only surpasses the image quality potential of a Micro Four Thirds camera, but also offers much, much more. Thanks to our latest technologies, including phase hybrid autofocus, active IS, and that internal raw recording, the GH7 allows you to shoot high quality footage without constraints. Whether you're shooting handheld while running, walking, or capturing shots that demand an aggressive style, everything becomes easier with the GH7. Next, let's discuss efficient workflow possibilities with the Lumix GH7. It features the tilt and free angle monitor, providing optimal operability for professional productions. You'll also find Lumix's signature video assist tools, including shutter angle, waveform, vector scopes, luminance spot meter, ensuring stress-free shooting experiences. All of this is available in a compact, lightweight form factor of a Micro Four Thirds camera system. The Lumix GH7 also ensures an efficient post-production workflow with proxy recordings and that Adobe Frame.io compatibility. Long valued in documentary and run and gun productions, the DMW XLR1 has served as a reliable audio device since its debut with the GH5. 
The upcoming XLR2 model will offer 32-bit float audio and four-channel input, enhancing recording flexibility and sound fidelity. Now, what good is a camera without reliability? The GH7 is dust resistant, splash resistant, and can even operate in temperatures as low as negative 10 degrees Celsius. And don't forget that the Lumix GH7 is a hybrid camera packed with features to support photographers as well. It enhances our cutting edge phase hybrid autofocusing system, capable of recognizing planes, trains, and even the front of cars or the helmets on motorcyclists. The Lumix GH7 also inherits professional features from the Lumix G9 Mark II, such as 60 frames per second burst shooting in autofocus continuous and 100 megapixel handheld high resolution shot mode. Additionally, the newly announced Lumix Lab is compatible with the GH7, enabling ultra fast connections with your smartphone and LUT applied images for quick turnarounds. Now, before you rush to check out more online, there's one more thing. In a licensing deal with Ari, we are thrilled to announce the addition of the legendary Log C3 profile to the GH7. Ari Log C3, officially certified by Ari, will be available for GH7 and GH6 owners as a paid license. It can be unlocked with the DMW SFU 3A for $199.99 US dollars. This feature brings cinematic color grading within your reach. So let's take a look behind the scenes at how we used the GH7 and an Ari Alexa Mini LF together to shoot Cookie Jar, a short film by Lumix ambassador and filmmaker, Ben Staley. Aerie Log C3 and internal ProRes RAW is a game changer. My assignment from Panasonic was shoot a film with an Aerie Alexa as your A camera, but use the GH7 as your B camera, as your crash camera, put it to the test, beat it up, find out what it can do, really push this little camera alongside the highest end cinema camera out there. The advantage of a camera like a GH7 is that I can move this camera much faster, it's smaller, I can put it into tighter spots. This is where the GH7 is a secret weapon and it's a tool to tell this story in a much more immersive way. It just gives me creative options that you won't get with a large high-end cinema camera. Action. I wanted these fights to be hard hitting and to be immersive. I wanted to really feel all these punches and kicks. Are we really gonna crash and burn? I kind of just can't help grabbing a camera and jumping into the middle of the action and trying to make some shots. It's basically what I love the most. We're shooting handheld with the GH7. I don't have a cage or any metal parts on the camera because if the stunt actors hit the camera, I don't want to injure them with like a hard piece of metal. So the camera is just slimmed down. I just have the grip here. It's as soft as it can possibly be. And hopefully nobody hits it. We don't want any injuries. But it's an amazing tool that can move super fast and get into tight spots and get kind of a POV and a perspective that's pretty much impossible any other way. In action. I love how I'm able to whip this camera around and move it very fast handheld to really sell these punches and these kicks. Yo. Yo. <laughs> we almost broke the camera. Oh, we totally destroyed it. Did we get the shot? I guess we sacrificed one GH7, but that's okay, we got the shot. This is the actual GH7 that I used handheld in the cookie jar. It's a little beat up. It hit a brick wall twice. It got kicked into me one time pretty hard. It's got a few dents in it. It's got some scratches, but after being slammed into a brick wall a couple times and kicked around, kicked out of my hands, the darn thing still works. These cameras are amazingly tough. And the fact that I can shoot a project with my GH7 and match it to an Aerie Alexa 
is game changing. So thank you for joining us today. The Lumix GH7 isn't just a new camera. It's a new chapter for filmmakers and photographers around the world. And we can't wait to see the stories that you're gonna tell. Panasonic.